Welcome back. Before the break, we asked you whether living in a rest home was something to look forward to when you get to that stage, of course, mm. when you're very, very old or not so very, very old. Mm. Uh, I don't want to offend anybody. Um, and you might have scoffed. If you did, you need to watch this next story because I reckon it'll change your mind. Jill Higgins took a couple of 20-somethings, <laughs> one of them our very own Gracie and also up-and-coming comedian Brendan Green to Omokoroa to try it out. Here they come. Probably the youngest ever entrance to a rest home. So scale of one to ten, yep. one being hate it, ten being, yep, I'd love to go there. Where do you sit? Probably closer to hate it. Oh yes, rest home stereotypes are alive and well. Yuck food. <laughs> um, not being able to look after yourself. Quite lonely and in uh, bad smells. The only time a rest home's in the news is not for good things. Yeah, that's all you ever hear, <laughs> which is so sad. And this is why I really want to show that there's such wonderful things that happen in a rest home. We're matching. This is a massive feed. You want to give them spontaneous activities. We do it every day in our lives. We suddenly go, we're going off to the gym today or we're going off for coffee. They can't do that. So we've got to provide those sponta spontaneous activities to give them a feeling of joy and to give them a presence of self-image. She's not asking these guys to enjoy it now, but to think whether they'd enjoy it when maybe they yeah. can't get around anymore or their eyesight's failing. We're trying to make one of these. It's actually a Kiwi that walks. That's more advanced than anything I've ever yeah, attempted. Well, same with us, but um, <laughs> so our one here doesn't seem to walk. All right. So we're selling them for 25 cents. <laughs> for Brendan, this is great. An audience for his jokes and they can't get away. And the priest goes, I don't know, but his face rings a bell. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently they've been promised strippers too. Still waiting. As soon as you girls get changed, um, <laughs> we'll be fine. Uh, yeah. They do get things made though, and the ladies add the finishing touches. We're preparing things for a big sales table for the shelter box. Do you want me to cut the corners? We also do cooking and things like that. They also get lovely cooking. No boiled cabbage here. I can get used to this. <laughs> In your 20s, it's easy to have fun. In your 90s, it still can be. Oh, <laughs> What's the most fun thing? Fun thing? Oh, having a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I had two of them one day and I staggered all the way home. <laughs> Good for tonight, it's high spirits for the Melbourne Cup. I wouldn't be here for three years if I didn't have fun. The only thing we haven't got is fellas. Hello! <laughs> we don't get many fellas like him in here. <laughs> and if Brendan needs to escape, a very nice bedroom awaits. This, no, this is nicer no. than my apartment. This is way nicer than my apartment too. This is what we should be aiming for. Bigger rooms, bathroom en suites. This is lovely. <laughs> we do this. You guys can continue the tour. Hand on heart, has it changed the way you feel? Yes, I've got to start getting fit if I'm going to survive here. And there's always something going on. The food is really yeah. yummy. I'm starting to question my life decisions now. <laughs> Shouldn't we be getting this every day now? And I actually felt quite emotional during the singing because I don't think we sing enough. I loved it. Loved it. Nice. Oh, lovely. Mm, so good. It didn't look like there was much rest in that rest home. Do you know what I mean? No, Gracie said that they were on the go My, the entire time. I suppose they get a pretty big rest soon. Mm. Um, I think it'd be okay. I think it'd, I'd be into it if you were a singleton. Yeah. Shh, don't say things okay. like that. Um, <laughs> if you're a singleton in your dotage, um, It'd be better than living on your own, I reckon. Oh, a, yeah. bit of, a bit of company around. Mm -hmm. The problem arises, I think, when you're still a couple. Mm. Um, like my mum and dad, my mum would love to go yeah. into a retirement home because uh, she's really social. My dad, 
can't stand the idea. Mm. So what do we do with them? It's like, it's just one of those things you have to think Leave about, isn't it? Yeah. You've got to think about your mum and dad. I've got to think about my mum and dad. Heather, you've got to think about your husband. So basically, <laughs> some stage. Jesse, oh, ouch. Like that. It's not all free bus rides. You know, you've got to make plans. Some stage, you've got to move on. Can I say we have made a plan. Yeah. Barry married me because it'll cost him $900 a week to go into a rest home. So I'm the, I'm the cheaper alternative. <laughs> you right? plan, eh? Yeah. yeah. All right. Have a nice plan. track, Joe. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the Philippines uh, auction, the auction we're doing on trade.